today everything is going to be about passing and first touch passing. In this first drill you can see that I'm passing the ball to the board trying to aim for that white square in the middle. If I miss it, it's fine, I just try to get it the next time and I go from there. Anytime I do a passing drill, I make sure to use also my weak foot. As you guys can see, I'm not as sharp with, with my left foot, but I'm getting there. With the left foot, I really try to give it more focused, I really try to take it a little slower, and then as I start getting more comfortable with the exercise, I start increasing the speed. On this one, I'm doing a little bit of two-touch passing, so I make sure to hit the square every single time, I receive the ball, leave it dead on the spot, and then I pass it back again to the board. If you guys like this type of content, make sure you guys like this video, subscribe, and maybe drop a comment. Let me know what you guys would like to see more in the future, and thank you guys for supporting. This one is a little bit more complex. I pass the ball to the board, and instead of receiving it with the inside of my foot, I straight away roll it away, then chop it, take a touch with the outside back in, and I pass it again to the board. Now on this exercise, I'm passing the ball to the board, I receive with the inside of my right foot into the inside of my left, and then I retrieve the ball by rolling it back and pushing it back to the same side. The first move that I do, the inside to inside, I call it a TikTok, and then the other move, I call it a V. As you can see, the more comfortable I get with the exercise, the faster I go. Also, I try to emphasize that touch going away. I try to give it the feel of a fake shot, kinda, and uh, to make it a bit more believable for the opponent. On this next one, we're working on two touch passing. I have one rebounder set on the left side, one rebounder set on the right side, and I'm trying to receive with the deep foot, leaving it set already for the other foot to pass it. Make sure that you leave that back foot behind your body so you have it already set up to pass it. Now as you can see once again the more I do this drill the more comfortable my feet feel so I keep increasing the speed progressively. On to the next one now. On this one I pass it to the board on the right and as soon as the ball's coming back to me, I go to the ball to send a pass across to the other board and then I try to bring it across in whichever way I want. Just try to make it as quick as possible, make sure every pass is good, and that's about it. This one is all about the first touch passing. I'm passing the ball five times to each board and on the fifth pass, I send it across over to the other board. It looks easy, but it's actually not. Number one, it's very tiring. It doesn't seem like it, but it actually is. And it just requires a lot of focus. Every pass has to be a good pass, because if not, you just lose control of the ball, and the ball will be going all over the place. Once again, the more I did it, the more comfortable I felt, and the faster I would go. Lastly, I started working on driven passes. As you can see, my technique here is not the technique that you utilize when you pass the ball with the inside of your foot. On this one you get a lean over, kind of like if you are taking a shot, and strike the ball with your laces. Now you gotta make sure that you stop the follow through, because if you don't stop it, more than likely the ball will go up. You just gotta make sure that every single time you hit the ball in the right spot. And as you guys can see, I'm trying to go for the white rectangle. And even if I missed it, you know, just take a touch, fix it, shake it off, and then start getting it again. Thank you guys so much for watching, I'll catch you on the next one.